Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful green wood dragon reading. I do hope you're well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you. So it's the new moon in Aquarius today as well and tomorrow is we're coming into that new year, that Chinese new year of the green wood dragon. Um, so you could be feeling a little bit unsettled and, you know, or just like you're overwhelmed with everything and maybe you're experiencing those lower energies, you're working through a lot and you're having to face more uncertainty and some of your insecurities could be really heightened and you may have thought you've worked through them but they've reappeared. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Just sit with this, be aware of it and, and give this compassion um, and patience to yourself and know that these energies and whatever it's bringing up and whatever is reappearing um, you're having to face, know that it's because there's more for you to do and it's an opportunity for you to make peace with those insecurities or those situations and they will dissolve, they will fade. So don't be hard on yourself thinking, you know, I'm not doing very well at the moment because that isn't the truth. These energies are just supporting you and pushing you to really show up for yourself and put into practice everything that you've learned by being on this journey. Really showing up in your truth and not getting distracted by the insecurities and the, the doubts, the fears or whatever's going on, dealing with situations, responding with being the unconditional love that you are. So the dragon is resilient, brave, courageous, strong, and can move and travel through anything. So I feel that you are gonna be able to deal with things so much easier. You're gonna feel strong, brave, and courageous, no matter what is presented to you, whatever's thrown at you in this up and coming year. So first of all, I'm going to bring in the Soul's Journey Oracle deck to see how this energy from the Greenwood Dragon is supporting Twin Flames, you beautiful soul that's watching, and what it's bringing in for you. I'm going to use some other decks and I'll show you them as I'm using them. I will get messages from your Twin Flame, from your other self, to see what wants to be shared in this Greenwood Dragon energy. And at the end, I'll be getting messages from God, the Universe, the Angels, to give you some support and guidance of what you need to know about your journey in this energy of the Greenwood Dragon. So let's see what's going to come through. Thank you to all of you for the love and support that you continuously give me. I'm so very grateful to each one of you. And if you would like support on your awakening journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. So how is this Greenwood Dragon energy? supporting the beautiful soul that's watching twin flames and what is it bringing the twin flames the beautiful soul that's watching nice clear message let's see what's coming through happiness that's beautiful this beautiful green that's my favorite color i'm aware that being happy means that i'm on the right path yes understanding that when you're experiencing fear that doubt feeling any pain that you're you're disconnected from the truth of who you are because who you really are is happiness joy and peace <laughs> so it's bringing happiness so i think anything that's going to be going on during this year of the greenwood track and you're going to be you know, always thinking about the importance of this happiness and taking responsibility of that, you know, guidance that is within you when you're disconnected and you're in this doubt and fear. Really being aware of yourself and there are happy times ahead because you're choosing happiness. Huh. That's the difference. It doesn't matter what year we're in or whatever's going on in our life. We can always choose happiness and you do have that strength, that love that is within you to be able to see happiness in everything. And that, and, and that's when you bring easier times to yourself and happy times because you're feeling this happiness no matter what. <laughs> so that's what you're attracting back to you. 
So that's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to get some more acceptance. The power of acceptance brings this happiness because you're letting go. You're surrendering to divine. You're accepting what is. You're not trying to change anything. And at times, acceptance, as I've mentioned before, it is very uncomfortable because um, from your ego's point of view, it may not be where you want to be and it's an uncomfortable situation. But when you drop down into your heart space and you put happiness in all situations, you feel content and, yeah, you're just making the best of everything. And this is full acceptance of yourself. We've got crown chakra and heart chakra coming through here and some throat chakra as well. So acceptance, full acceptance of self and full acceptance of this journey and where you are in your life. Not trying to fight, not trying to control because that's what took you away from your happiness. Just being. Hmm. And that's allowing new fresh energy and new experiences in because you're not fighting to change anything. You're showing God, the universe, the angels that you're, that you're content and happy with where you are. And you're so grateful. And again, when you're in your head, everything that I'm sharing right now, it could sound ridiculous and um, it's, it's triggering for you because you could be having, you know, a really uncomfortable time at the moment. But the only way that you can change the uncomfortable time is when you accept and you see things through the eyes of love. Put happiness into the situation. Service, that is your service, is to be happy, to be who you truly are. Um, and that is a been a service to this world. Hmm. So I feel as if you are going to feel so light and you know, you're just feeling strong, passionate about being creative, um, starting new projects and you're open, open to receive new opportunities, new ideas and you're going to be truthful about your your true heart's desires, your gifts, your talents and you're going to be sharing that with the world. Hmm. You're really going to show up for yourself and um, service is just, that your purpose and service does at times um, overwhelm us because we think to ourselves, what is it? What is it that I've got to do to help this world or to make it in this world? And it's about you feeling good enough, being in your heart space, giving this love to yourself. Because when you're doing that, you're spreading that love. Your light, your love is so powerful what you're actually radiating out into the universe. And you are here to give that service, to heal the world, to make this world a better place. But you can only do that when you're fulfilled with, you know, when you're, you, you've fulfilled your, yourself, your own happiness. You cannot do it from an empty place. When you're not sure of yourself, when you're, you know, you're just absorbed in doubt and fear, um, not feeling safe, that isn't um, being of service. So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck is patience. You're going to be feeling so much more patient. Um, the Greenwood Dragon is giving you the gift of this patience. And patience is about showing God, the universe, the angels that you're trusting that there is no rush, that there is no time, that something has to be done. You, you're trusting in divine time and you know that everything comes to you at the right time when it's meant to. Um, and patience is a big one for this twin flame journey. To let go of that control of trying to make things happen when we think things should be happening. So you're going to be feeling patient with yourself, patient with this journey, patience with your twin well when you're patient with yourself you're being patient with your twin flame anyway because you're one energy and one soul patience through this process as well of acceptance not being hard on yourself so next i'm going to use the power of love to see what else comes through so beautiful happiness acceptance and service <laughs> No more comparing yourself and thinking that you've got to be a certain way. Putting pressure on yourself. Just accepting this is me. And that is enough. <laughs> That's a service to this world. And that brings you happiness. Because your mind isn't filled with, you know, thinking that you've got to change or you've got to be different. Or you should be somewhere different. And that's... That energy just brings change in, in itself. It brings the, all the things that you were 
fighting so hard for, trying to manifest. It just naturally comes to you because you're happy and content. So what else is coming through? How is this green wood dragon energy supporting the beautiful soul that's watching twin flames? And what is it bringing in? It's bringing in happiness, this acceptance, you having the courage to be of service to this world. past through the power of love you release any stagnant situation or energy in order to transform your heart space letting go of this past moving on accepting what was letting go of it accepting what is now and allowing this new fresh energy in and releasing that old stack stagnant toxic energy that you've been holding on to because of the past going over and over and over things you know about why did this happen and um letting go of that victim mentality as well actually cherishing the past being grateful for this past of what you have learned from the situations that have happened in your life making peace with the past um and taking what you can from the past and sharing this with the world as well, putting, spreading your love, what you've learned from maybe uncomfortable, hurtful, painful times in your past. Taking what you learned from it and, and being able to be a service to this world, to tell people that have had some of the things happen to them as well, to relate with other people, to help other people. But this past has been holding you up and you're gonna be free from this past accepting not trying to change what you cannot change because it's gone it's in the past being in the present moment and evolution <laughs> and it's beautiful green again you realize that the obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love yes everything you you, you know that any obstacles challenge is you're going to power through <laughs> being the happiness because you're You've got that strength, strength, sorry, and you've got that love that was is within you that is going to get you through anything. You're seeing things through the truth with these new fresh eyes, and you know and have the understanding that this is all part of your evolution of you growing and you evolving um, in your life. Um, so that's absolutely amazing. Acceptance, you can't make it up. Just acceptance. And as I mentioned, acceptance of, you know, if you're in this preparation, not physically with your twin flame, acceptance of that's what's happening right now. But trusting that deep inner knowing, making that commitment of who this physical person is that's come into your life, accepting that, yeah, that this is who they are. I know why they've come into my life. And at the moment, we're in this preparation. That's you letting go. Huh. And, and know that any obstacles, challenges, it's all part of your journey. It's all part of you actually coming into union. It's all preparation. It's all part of your, your, your soul evolving. And at the bottom of the deck, we have peacefulness. Yeah, it's bringing peacefulness, acceptance, evolution, so much growth, so much change, leaving the past behind, really showing up for yourself and... Life is going to be so much more smoother and calmer for you because you you feel secure and safe within yourself. You're, you, you're not doubting yourself. You're not fearing that you're getting it wrong. You're trusting that deep inner knowing that unexplainable love is within you. So, so much change is coming with evolution. Um, but it isn't going to phase you. It's not going to phase you, this change, these obstacles, because you're going to just go through them. You're not going to go around them. You're not trying to work it out so much. You're just going to go through it with confidence, with this acceptance, with strength, with that safety that you found within you. Um, so heart space coming through big time in this reading. So next I'm going to use the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck to see what else is coming through. But this is wonderful energy. So what else is this green wood dragon energy bringing for twin flames 
and how is it supporting the beautiful soul that's watching that's coming through nice clear message freedom it's bringing you freedom how wonderful is that you're going to feel so free and you're going to be spreading your wings with this confidence not being so fearful about doing things that are different um about you showing the world who you truly are you're just feeling free from everything um because you're you know you're not going to be in your head you're going to be in your heart space you're you're setting yourself free and you're going to be so supported this greenwood dragon energy is supporting you so much leadership yeah taking the lead hmm and taking the lead doesn't mean to say that you've got to do something that's very dramatic or um you know action so much outside of you the action that you're going to be taking and, and taking the lead is by you giving love to yourself accepting yourself um and some of you may be you know really stepping up um and you know wanting to to, to make huge changes and take this action outside of you but leadership is all about you taking responsibility of your energy not allowing what's going on outside of you to affect you. And we've got the polar bear here is, is perseverance as well. You're going to be persevering no matter what is going on. You're going to feel, you're going to be um, in control. Your heart is going to be in control, not your head. Um, so that's absolutely amazing. And gateway, yeah, you're going through that gate. So much is opening up for you because you're freeing yourself from worry. You're going to be flying so high. And the dragon does fly. Huh? The dragon, as I said, can move through anything. It can travel through anything. And at the bottom of the deck is purity. Yeah, you're moving forwards with this purity. Being the unconditional love that you are. Not being afraid to go through that gateway. The gates are open and you're going for it. Taking that lead. Freeing yourself from that past not allowing anything to get in your way, going through any difficulties, facing them with peace, with being in your hot space. Um, it's absolutely amazing. And there's a beautiful wolf here as well. So you could be seeing wolves as well. And that's just showing you, you are, you know, about the truth and you, you are on the right path and you're safe to actually go through this gateway to keep moving forwards and moving away from what no longer serves you and spreading your wings really being confident and showing the world who you truly are in every situation that you're put in you're going to be on fire and so supported so i'm bringing in my deck messages from your other self to see what it is that your twin flame would love to show and express in this greenwood dragon energy um, what wants to be expressed? What is it your twin flame, your other self wants you to know? And know, you know, this is what's going to be going on for your twin flame because you're one energy, one soul. What's coming through the beautiful soul that's watching? What is it their twin flame, their other self, their true self wants you to know? I don't know what to say to you. So your twin flame does want to actually communicate to you. Communication coming through. Our union is my biggest priority. Yeah. That's what I'm going to be focusing on is this union. This inner union. So we can create this physical union. There is so much that I want to say and I don't know where to start. Um, and the last communication that you could have got from your twin flame, it could have been quite intense and you weren't on good terms um and they've been through so much the same as you in this preparation they don't know where to start they don't know what to say to you um and this communication is going to be so different so special because they want to speak their truth so it's going to be quite shocking for you beautiful soul when you receive this communication i'm in a lot of pain and it takes me to the ground 
So however it seems to you, your twin flame has been in a lot of pain, not physically being with you, working through the things, the same as you work, letting go of the past, um, accepting the whole of themselves, accepting where they are. It's caused a lot of pain and it's taken them to ground. And you know that because that it's happened to you as well, beautiful souls watching. But at times you could see as if your twin flame is just getting on with their life and or you've heard something and it, it just doesn't make any sense. And that's because you're still in your head and you're not in your heart space. And those things that happened that maybe created pain for you and you went to the ground because you saw something about your twin flame and what they're doing, what they're not doing. That had to happen because... It was activating pain that needed to be addressed within you. But know that behind the scenes, um, so much more is going on and they have experienced pain. Facing themselves, facing their fears, creating freedom for themselves by facing the doubts and the fears, different situations that happened in their life. But their, you, this union of self and coming into union with you physically being with each other is their priority that's why they're so determined to face things with themselves let go of the past and um growing through these obstacles challenges whatever thrown at them and this deep acceptance being in their heart space being you know dealing with things in their heart space not from their head and please trust me yeah Please trust me, our union is my biggest priority and I have been in so much pain not physically being with you, facing things within myself and I do want to communicate but right now I don't know what to say but this green wood dragon energy is going to be supporting your divine counterpart, your twin flame and they will get the words, they will be able to reach out um, and express how they truly feel, they get that courage that bravery um, to be able to do that. Um, so that's beautiful messages. So next I'm going to use, to get the messages from God, the University Angels, first of all I'm going to use the Soul Connection When Two Hearts Meet to see what you need to know with this uh, energy of the Greenwood Dragon um, and how it's supporting your journey. Uh, what's going to be happening in this year of the Greenwood Dragon your journey so what is it that god the universe the angels want beautiful souls watching to know about their twin flame journey and i'm going to use messages through music as well for twin flame to beautiful news so what's coming through nice clear message rekindle yeah hmm Every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled, yeah, so things are going to be coming alive again between you and your twin flame. Mm -hmm. You're able to do that now because you've dealt with things that within yourself and the things that, you know, where it was getting draining, exhausting and it was creating so much fear, that's, you're, gonna, you're setting that aside, you're moving away from that. And it's like the new leash of life, this relationship with your twin flame, because you've had this rebirth, because you're you're you've got you're re-energized, you're you're feeling completely different. Um, you've remembered who you truly are. So that is gonna be so amazing for this relationship. Things are getting restarted, having this new fresh start with your twin flame. That's what God the universe, the angels want you to know and labyrinth even when you feel lost there is always a way through the labyrinth yeah so as i said to you you're always going to make it through no matter whatever comes your way doesn't matter what's going on you're going to push through you're not going to avoid it you're not going to get caught up in fear you're going to move through it um and you're going to be growing so much with this evolution as well learning so much more and you're open to learning, you're not resisting this, you're willing and things are opening up for you and your twin flame in this new fresh start. Putting the past behind and starting over again, being the truth, being the unconditional love that you are.
So next I'm going to use the messages through music, intuitive or oracle for twin flames from beautiful Liz to see what else is coming through about your journey in the screen with dragon energy. What is it called? The universe angels want you to know about your journey in this energy. Rekindle. Hmm. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? The cards are a bit all over the place, I must admit, and I'm finding it quite hard to hold them all because there's so many. They are haunting you. They are not a ghost. They are very real, and so is their love for you. You can feel them with you, even if you can't see your twin flame. You can always feel them, and this works both ways. You may feel like that they're right beside you, especially as you fall asleep tonight. They are energetically stroking your face and hair and whispering to you, don't cry, our love will never die. Mm, that's beautiful, isn't it? So all those sensations and things that go on on this journey that nobody else understands and it's just unique to you, <laughs> where you, you know that your twin flame is there, you can feel them. And sometimes you can actually feel their touch um, and the telepathic communication, all of those things, it is real. And the love that you can't explain of what you feel within you and the love that you know that your twin flame feels for you it is so real that's why it, it that's why it feels the way it is because it is real because it is divine um so really feeling each other um and at the bottom of the deck we have there is a reason for everything that happens everything on this journey to union counts the good and the bad the ups and the downs learn to embrace it all and enjoy the journey because it's how you become your best self yeah that's what you're doing and which goes with evolution as well it's about coming from this place of being neutral not seeing good or bad up down just being balanced moving through no matter what is going on being with yourself remaining in that peace that you've, you've found within yourself there is a reason for everything that happens and everything is happening for you whatever you come across is all part of your preparation to come into union with this physical person and they're really feeling you and it's about you allowing yourself to actually feel this and uh, um, and um, confirm with yourself that you're not going crazy you're not going around the twist when you're feeling sensations, the touch of your twin or, you know, the communication that you receive, but you know that especially for you, your, your twin speaking to you to just to, to not doubt that, to trust it. And it's really going to be going on for you. And it isn't your twin stalking you or haunting you and in all of those, you know, that lower energy where we get caught up in the fear. It's 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 beautiful. It, it isn't harmful when it isn't freaky. It's just pure love, what you're experiencing. And that is what your twin flame is actually sharing and showing you as well in those times when you know that their message is for you or you're feeling something. Do you know it's your twin flame? You don't need to have confirmation from anybody else. Confirm it with yourself. And know that things are gonna get started. You're gonna have this new fresh start with your twin flame rekindle. This relationship is coming alive. It's getting up and running from this place of truth because of the clearing, because of what you have been releasing. You've been given this opportunity to start again. Um, so lots of things are going to be happening for you and your twin flame coming back together and getting this relationship up and running again because you're having this relationship with yourself. That's what's important. You're having this relationship with yourself, so you're ready to have somebody else into your, in your life now, your, this physical being, which is so special because it is your other self. <laughs> um, there is nothing for you to fear about this physical person because you're dealing with yourself. Um, so I really do hope that this has made you smile and it's given you the heads up about this energy of the green wood dragon. So have an amazing rest of the day, evening, and have an amazing year of the green wood dragon energy. And if you would like support on your awakening journey, on your Twin Flame journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And remember, most of all, to stay focused, to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love is within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, because it really does help my channel grow. 
That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See you. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.